get ready five seconds start ladies and gentlemen i am indeed very happy to take part in this conference it gives me great pleasure to meet old friends here when i was invited by the organizers i felt i should not miss this occasion as a matter of fact i was planning to go abroad but i cancelled my trip in order that i might be able to attend the function there are many problems which require discussion and i do not know where to begin and where to end in fact we have many speakers who will deal with every one of them for my part i shall take up three or four questions which are important in the peculiar circumstances in which we are meeting today our thoughts first go to the increase in violence we have forgotten peaceful methods and resort to violence for every little thing this is not a correct approach whatever may be our views in regard to any issue we must know that by mutual discussion we can arrive at a satisfactory solution for instance take the demand of anyone for anything there can be no doubt that however big or small the demand may be agitation is unnecessary can we not solve the problem peacefully we belong to a poor country and we have to make it prosperous this means that we should not destroy our public property and we should preserve it the people of india are the owners of public property we have to work hard and build more at all times let us remember that violence is not the correct answer to any problem freedom has given us opportunities to make our country strong and wealthy if we do not know how to make the best use of these opportunities we cannot make progress at all more and more industries have to be started taking advantage of our resources in respect of agriculture we have to increase our production by using modern methods and extending credit facilities to farmers we are happy to note that banks and cooperative societies are playing a significant part in this regard everything possible is being done by the government to increase agricultural production side by side industrial production has to be stepped up this does not mean that everywhere we should have only heavy industries no one can dream of prosperity for india if rural india is forgotten so many of our people live only in villages they are so poor that they need our immediate attention take our system of education we have many achievements to our credit in this field india today is quite different from what it was 30 years ago we have a large number of educational institutions all over the country there is a lot of improvement in the quality of education has transport facilities have increased students experience not much difficulty the teachers are paid well and textbooks and notebooks are available at reasonable prices scholarships are given to poor students but it is the duty of students to study well and become worthy citizens of india there are however some drawbacks in our system of education but we hope that they will be removed very soon by the government there is now fear of war all over the world although everybody talks of peace we are living in the midst of tensions 
whether it is a big country or small country another war will destroy the entire world india stands for peace and we have made it clear to all nations with these few words i conclude my speech letter from india plywoods limited gandhi nagar hyderabad to aruna timber company first cross street nehru nagar chennai dear sirs we are in receipt of your letter of the 10th instant for which we thank you in fact we expected your reply much earlier and we were wondering whether our letter was lost in transit our anxiety as you will surely understand was that we should clear our old stocks well in time before the higher prices of our new goods were enforced the cost of production has now gone up as the source of supply of our raw materials is affected by strike we are therefore very happy that you have evinced interest in our products or in your position to place a firm order as you are aware our plywoods are manufactured to international standard and they also carry isi mark at the london trade fair last year we sold out all our exhibits and booked orders to the tune of rupees 5 crores we won an award which adds to the prestige of india and we hope to make a single contribution to the increase in our export earnings as house building activities grow fast in the european countries we feel that our plywoods will be in great demand our regional representative is likely to call on you towards the end of this week eagerly waiting to be of best service yours faithfully